Working on through the brush seems to be a great film. I want to go do a little bit of work on them tonight, but I want to do a half movie. A little bit of work, give them a little bit of time off tonight because I want to do you know. Rousely around the top, this could take better to use a small slicker brush because the big one might be just a little bit too rough. creates a proper line so it looks like a proper mane. I just give it a comb first so I make sure I've got the right length and that it's straight or curved. I just keep going over it with the, the slicker brush so you get a nice a nice edge. There we go. It doesn't mean you get up and run away, mister. Right there. There we go. So we're just going round on the edge. We're just making sure that he keeps his men. And his men doesn't get out of control. Well, lay down, it's much easier. I 
still get little bits around underneath and stuff where um just cut that a bit at a time. Especially when you're just starting out the proper grooming. Always better to do it a little bit at a time than trying to do one big go which I've tried before and it just didn't work. All I ended up doing was making a harder job. Bring your bum round to your left hand. Let me get these scissors out of the way. Bring your bum round here. Bum round here. There we go. Hold it there. That's it. Oh. Always make sure you support the underneath when you're doing the back pause so that. Yeah. I need to do your tail. Will you stand up? Up. Up. Stand up. I'll go round here, it'll be much easier. I'll be with you in a moment. I'll just finish them off in a second. Just want to make sure you get your tail just come through. He's still quite lush now. When he's outside, it looks really nice. Yeah, that means looking a lot better, a lot more even. Take your chops up. There we go. There we go, mister. Come say hello to everyone. Come here. There we go. Come and say hello to everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> oh. Hiya. I'm Obi. Obi Bobi. Right, there you go. So I'll do you in about five minutes. I'll just pop in. Oh hi Nanny D. How are you? Who else have we got in chat? Jeez. Hi Andrea. Alana, nice to see you Alana. Oh hi Nicola, you, I hope you're going to be watching for you know having her bath in about five minutes. Um, hi Paul, how, how's Nicole, was she with you? Oops. Alana. <laughs> hi Andrea, hi Tessa, hi Claudia, it's great to see you. Hi Andrea, hi Hollis and Paul. There's more there than I have. Hi Rob, how are you? Um, so everything with the garden's all fixed out now. Um, my sister Nicola took care of it, so she's getting somebody to come next week to do the garden. And what I'll do is, I might do, go out and do a little bit because there's things I want to be taken away and there's things I don't want to be taken away. And I don't want to be taken away my compost, my composter, because... Um, I got that through free cycle because I would like to make more compost because buying soil is so expensive, especially when you can make it yourself from the debris from the garden itself. But um, I spoke to the woman a couple of times, but I, I'm not letting on that I know it was her who actually said to the council. So, um, but Nicholas said something that she's made. Um, she's telling them that I've, I've been victimised, which it is because it's the same woman, even though she did all those things, they're still keeping at me and at me and at me and I just look completely closed off now, so which I'm happy with. So um, that's sort of like behind me now, so I'm just working towards um, maybe going for an exchange. I'd like to stay near, near my sister anyway in Brighton, I wouldn't mind getting a little flat in the high flat. And I think I'm in a, a sort of a, a good position because the the flat that I'm in is actually in a really good location. They've got chemists, they've got the surgery, the dentist, although I don't go to the dentist, I'm too scared of them. But um, I've got the 
the post office, plus we get an incredibly good bus service which takes you to Rottendam which is about five and a half minutes bus ride and it takes you right on to the seaside out of Brighton and plus we get the Brighton buses here that go way off of the, the thing. But I'm actually doing okay actually Paul, thanks very much for asking. Um, I've been, um, I just been keeping myself busy, been just tidying up my flat because if I'm going to go for, I know that's exactly what I'm doing Nanny and also everybody, Nanny's going to be coming on the show in a couple of weeks time, once I get this working with the same agent, she's going to be talking about her, um, her cause that she's doing, she's actually got a council to change the policy on dogs which is so important. And this has to be the whole country, and I think Nanny's the type of person that knows how to do it. We're doing fine, Nicole. Thanks for asking. Um, uh, how's Hobnob? Hobnob? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, lots of good things in store. I mean, I'm going for an exchange, and I think, I, I think I'm in a, a good position to actually go for an exchange, yeah? But I'm going to have to speak to the council, and I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sister to deal with it because she seems to have the brains for sort of like clerical stuff. Yeah, I look forward to it, Nanny. We just have to work between us to sort of like get up a questionnaire and stuff like that, things to ask you. Oh, if, oh yeah, she's got a holiday with you tomorrow. Oh, that'd be absolutely excellent. Make sure you do lots of videos and pictures, Nicole, so we can all see what it's like. Cause It'd be great, I, I want to take over on holiday, so because um, I've got my bus pass and I've sort of let over the dumps now, and so I'm considering going away for a weekend somewhere, maybe down towards Cornwall or Devon, and just using the buses to get there because it's absolutely fantastic with the bus pass, I can, the places that I can go. So, so far, everything has been okay. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll speak to you during the week, Nanny D. Right, I'm going to get started on Yuna now. Now, Yuna's a... Yeah, please do, Nicole. Yuna's going for a lavender bath tonight. What I was able to do is I asked this lady, it stays quite... <laughs> okay, Nicole. I asked this lady if I got some of her heads from her lavender so I could give my dog a bath. So, um... I've got fresh land, I've put it into bowl in the really hot water, now it's so I just let it cool off. Hi Jesse, how are you? Different to see me on the game, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'll just go and grab you now and I'll get started on the bath. Right, where's she's hiding? Um, yeah. Right, I'll just get started on the bath now. Right, I'll just go and grab you now. And I just let some of the, the, the oils go into the water. And here's Yuna. Hello. Is your, your mummy says, you know. Go and say hello to your mummy. Me? Give me a kiss. Yeah, come on then. So one thing that Yuna gets is Yuna does, Yuna gets, um, Yuna gets, um, irritable skin. So what I've done is I've, filled the, the water with um, lavender and I've got a cloth in here just to gently soak her because what it'll do, like, if the dogs get out of the skin lavender will actually soothe it, the skin itself so I'm just using the water from the, the cloth to work it through her I've not got anything else in the water except lavender and it's all the lavender bits and you can, if you've got a little bag you can rub the lavender in which is good. This is one of the natural ways of keeping dogs feel free as well. So just working it in a little bit at a time. And she's a lot better in water than Obi is, because I bathed her once already, a couple, about a week ago. But I noticed that she was still itching. But I think it's because of the irritation of the the weather, the weather's been so hot.
make sure every part was covered. You left it back to your mummy tomorrow, so um, I think it says she smells nice for her. You're just working it all in. It's just a good massage as well. And if you're into Reiki, you like doing Reiki, this is a really good time to actually do it. Uh, because when I do Reiki with Hobie, I do it with her as well. So while I'm talking to you, I'm actually sending energy in just with my hands. And lavender, because it's an elf plant, is very good for dogs. Especially little dogs like Yura. Yura's a teacup chihuahua. I think she's about seven or eight. Actually, she's about seven. Yeah. Um, now what did I do with your towel? What did I do with your towel? Um, let me just go and grab her a towel. <laughs> oh wait, oh. There we go. Let me put this here. Let me put this on the floor. Got to get my tape? Eh, good girl. Well done. Come here. Come on. Uh, just give her a good rub all over. Get all the excess water off before I use the brush and the, the hair dryer on her. I think you need your nails cut, darling. I won't cut her nails on so because she'll screw the place down. Are you? You're doing an OB. Yeah. Right. This is a really good hair dryer. This is one that a friend on Facebook bought me. It's a, a she says this works like a brush, like I said, not putting any pressure on the brush at all. Just let me go through by itself because her hair is not as um, thick as Obi's, it just gets right through it quickly. What up, Dan? Good thing about you is I can pick her up. Sounds gorgeous. It doesn't take long to dry. Not like Kobe.
que me dá carne. Verá. I'm going to sit down. There we go. Just a little bit of damp on us still, but the majority of them now is nice and dry. Yeah, I, I, I do as well, Andrea. Yeah, yeah I mean, Obi's an absolute monster to his pee bath. Because once he gets in the bath, he wants to get right back out again. But what I'm doing is I put a bit of money by, and what I'm going to try and do is actually build out an H frame for Robbie so that I can get more work on him. But um, yeah, there's Zuna, and you'll be seeing your mummy tomorrow. Still a little bit on her head, but I don't want you to overdo it because that. There you go, down. Because that um hair dryer is incredibly powerful. It's meant to actually um for dog grooming, so it's got about 800 watts. I had it on a mix set near there, sort of like the setting highest up, but what I did was there's a button on it, it cools it back down again, so you get hot air, cool air, going over the area, and it dries it really quick, which is absolutely perfect. So, I got me out of breath, that. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, I'm going to go for an exchange, I'm not going to give up my house, I'm not going to make myself intentionally homeless, I know some of you were a bit, uh, she is adorable Claudia, yeah, but she's one of these dogs that seems to get irritable skin, and she she doesn't even have fleas or anything like that, she's just one of these people that likes to chew herself, and I don't know what that's about, I think it's basically just, um, She's very particular about cleaning herself. She likes to clean herself. She's like a cat in that sense. And my sister got three cats, so I wonder if it's a learnt thing, because cats, as you know, spend a lot of time licking themselves. So does Yuna. Which is, can be annoying at night time when you're trying to sleep. No, you hear it. Shut up, shut up. I was going to say, shut up, Nicola. <laughs> shut up, Yuna. <laughs> yeah, it. I really like Lavender Claudia, it's one of my favourite plants, so when this guy comes to do the garden, I hope Nicola's going to ask him to do the front of the garden as well, it's only about a foot wide with the length of the flat, which is about 25 foot, 30 foot, and what I want to do is for next year, grow um, lavender plants at the, the front, so I can have lavender to do OB all the time, and also I like to have a lavender bath, because the oils are really good for the skin, and um it's just one of the perfect ways, I mean, it's what the medieval and the castles used to do, they used to have um, lavender scattered on the floors, so because, um, and it used to, when you, you crush them underfoot, it just, they release their, their scent, so anyway, thanks for tuning in today, this was actually a better so I feel a bit more upbeat, which is good, now I'm going to have a bath myself with what la lavender I've got left, and um, I'm going to see my sister tomorrow and um, I hope we speak to you sometime during the week, Nanny D, so we can sort of like get fix out what we have to be. And I'm going to make sure I, I do a good run up to this so that other people know the show's coming so we can get more people involved and in doing things. Okay, so um, thanks, thank you all for, for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you all next week. I will be doing more updates this week. I've de decided that I feel like I need to do a little bit more, a little bit more campaigning and stuff as well. But um, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Good night. God bless. Take care. And thank you all for, for, for popping in. I really appreciate it. Bye.